Hey everybody, Wednesday from Munich here. I'm going to talk a little bit about sound, saxophone, and sex. Alright. Hey everybody, Wednesday from Munich here. Hey everybody. Hi everybody, Wednesday from Munich here. <laughs> I'm going to talk a little bit about spirits and music. And don't worry, I'm not only going to paste your ears full of words, I'm also going to paste it, paste your ears full of some saxophone and some African drumming. So, what is music? Everything is vibration. What happens when a musician plays music? Well, I can only talk from my own experiences and from what other musicians shared with me. And one quote that particularly resonates with me is from Tom Canyon. And he says that when he plays music, he becomes a hollow reed. And any spirit can manifest itself through him. And playing music really does sometimes feel like that. There are moments where I black out, where I don't remember anything, and where my body and my fingers are moving according to something I'm not really consciously aware of. So, it seems like that in music, subconscious forces can come to the surface and manifest themselves in vibration. And I believe that everybody's subconscious is connected to infinity. It's connected to a cosmic subconscious, a collective subconscious in which archetypes exist. And this is actually not my original idea, but I do hold this idea. Carl Jung actually came up with the collective unconscious and archetypes and he believes that in the collective unconscious are archetypes that manifest themselves through individuals. So this also makes sense from an evolutionary perspective. For example, think about thousands of years of history in which stories were told, myths, and in these stories there were specific characters that resonated deeply with the listeners. For example, the hero, the victim, the betrayer, all these are archetypes. And since people identified with these archetypes, they resonated through them, meaning they manifested themselves through their behavior. So this is a more evolutionary perspective to think about it. But through my experience, especially meditating and tuning myself out of the physical realm, I have connected often to forces that seem to exist by themselves. So archetypes or energy patterns or spirits that exist in the ether <laughs> or I mean in the non-physical reality and manifest themselves through people. So that, that's a pretty out there theory, especially for people that are well oriented, um, no, not people that are well oriented, people that are strictly oriented using hard science, left brain people. So <clears throat> I am actually a left brain person myself. Sounds surprising because I keep saying such weird theories, but why I believe this series is because I've been on a quest to be happy. And to become happy I essentially had to dig through the filth that was in my soul or that prevented my left and my right hemisphere to communicate properly. So I think that's unhappiness if your hemispheres are not united. So. Anyway, I've, I've got, gone through an insane, intense spiritual journey in the last three years. I actually went to a mental hospital once because I was digging too deep, went too fast, meditated for 10 days straight without sleeping, but um, not doing that again. But I learned a lot from it and I'm actually writing a book about it right now. But I'm losing a little bit my train of thought here. What I'm really trying to get back to is music. So I found this ancient African drumming that my friend John gave me. He found it of an old movie and he bought, he found the, I think he found the record on eBay and he, he, he took off the music, bounced an mp3 and gave it to me. 
So, um, I think that in this drumming there is like a spirit. You know, that spirit, the vibration that these African dramas put out 50 years ago, however long it was, is still in the music. And yeah, it, it gets subconsciously interpreted, but still the vibration triggers something in us and brings us to a plane of connection where we can feel that energy. So what I'm trying to do here is I'm trying to play along with it and pretend to be there with these drummers and essentially bring my saxophone playing, though it comes from a completely different tradition of music, together with the drums and see if I can create something coherent that hopefully conveys the energy that was intended by this drumming. I should say adds to the energy because the drumming itself already conveys the energy. That's obviously a joke. The video is not going to be anything special, it's just going to be a bunch of this. So, you might as well um, close your eyes, um, focus on your breath, try to let go of the left brain that is trying to make sense of things, and try to just purely experience the music on a physical level by paying attention to how your body feels and how the vibrations of the sound manifest themselves as physical sensations. So let's give that a shot. Actually I decided I'm not gonna use the footage of me playing the song. Instead I'm just gonna stare in the camera and meditate.
As you may have noticed, the time is relatively fluid. Because African dramas clearly don't play with a metronome. And the time itself is more like a wave. It like speeds up and slows down ever so slightly. And if you think about it, if you really put all your focus into that time scale, you essentially get connected to the emotions, to the energies that made these dramas collectively speed up or slow down. So I think that's, that's pretty profound if you think about it. If you really manage to silence your mind and experience their drumming 100%, then it takes another journey.